Hi, welcome to Storytime with Gigi. Today we're going to be reading another Arthur story called Arthur the Brave. This story is about being brave and it's written by Mark Brown. This bionic bunny show is so boring, D.B. groaned. D.W. groaned. He's amazing, said Arthur. I wish I could be just like him. Well, you're not, teased D.W. I'll show her, thought Arthur, but I need to think of something brave to do. I've got it, yelled Arthur. So he thinks he's going to be the one to rescue his sisters. What are you doing to mom's good towel? asked D.W. Please call me Arthur the Brave, said Arthur. You're Arthur the Silly, D.W. giggled. Not funny, said Arthur. He's making himself a cape. Arthur, let's see, that afternoon, Arthur took a walk. Bring on the bad guys, he said. Bring on the danger. Arthur, what are you doing, asked Miss, Miss Turner, the librarian. Looks like trouble, sniffed Mr. Ratburn. They've never seen a real superhero before, thought Arthur. Later on, Arthur saw Grandma Thora trying to cross the street. I'll help her, he thought. Let me help you, Grandma, said Arthur. But Arthur, said Grandma Thora, don't worry, he replied. It's safe to cross. Oh, I think she's meaning to go to this concert. When they got across, Grandma Thora was not happy. I really didn't need to cross the street, she sighed. I was waiting for Mrs. Tibble in the park. Oh, sorry, said Arthur. That looks like Clifford the Red Dog, doesn't it? On his way home, Arthur saw Buster and Sue Ellen. Help, cried Sue Ellen. Someone save my kitty. At last, exclaimed Arthur, a real rescue. Stand back, everyone. I'll save you, kitty, called Arthur. Suddenly the cat jumped from the tree into Sue Ellen's arms. I think I'm stuck, Arthur said. Don't worry, said Sue Ellen. Help is on the way. Hang on, Arthur, called Binky and Buster. Buster climbed up and untangled Arthur's cape. Thanks, said Arthur. He felt like he couldn't do anything right. I'll never be like the bionic bunny, thought Arthur that night. Just then he heard D.W. crying. Help, she cried. There are monsters under my bed. I used to be afraid of monsters when I was little, said Arthur. Then I learned a magic spell that got rid of them. Will you tell me, she asked. Okay, said Arthur. Here it is. Pat your tummy and wiggle your nose. Tug your ears, then curl your toes. Now say these words as loud as you can. I'm just as brave as I think I am. D.W. said the spell three times. That's a pretty good spell, D.W. yawned. Even the bionic bunny could use it. 
I don't think you're Arthur the Silly anymore. Arthur smiled and quietly tiptoed out of her room. Back in his room, Arthur climbed into bed. Sometimes just being a brother is even better than being a superhero. Then Arthur the Brave fell fast asleep. And that's our story. I hope you liked it. Make sure you like and subscribe and share with your friends. Bye until next time.